my goodness this thing is ugly anyway i guess we'll get to that in a bit what's up guys welcome back so yeah i was thinking of an idea for like the next series and of course like my long-standing series is the me judging and rating all of the ea builds and i would love to do that in another game but those videos are very tedious to make they take a lot of mental energy and although i love doing them they're not something that i can kind of put out on like even like a consistent basis sometimes i do like five in a row and then i don't do any for a month so i thought instead for like a better series i'm actually going to just like renovate the ugliest one of all and i thought why not just do sunset valley because i know a lot of people are kind of new to the sims 3 or they're leaving the sims 4 or just trying something new so they may not have like all the expansion packs and stuff so i thought that maybe doing all the base game worlds and houses would be a good place to start so i just started with a basic starter home to get going actually i did a house before this but i didn't film it i thought is anyone gonna find this interesting and then i realized like in my comments there's a bunch of people asking me to kind of do this so i thought may as well just kind of get it started so to start off this was just like a rectangle box starter house by ea with hideous colors so i always like to start with the outside then i do the inside after that so the first thing i kind of thought of was this thing needs at least one bump out so i bumped out like right in front of the parking space there just to give it like a little extra dimension i didn't really need the square footage in fact the bedroom looks a little bit too big now but it's fine and yeah so i'm trying out a bunch of like different like hideous windows and stuff and see like the thing is i want to kind of preface this because if you're kind of new to my channel or if like for whatever reason this is the first video you've seen of me my style is kind of like ea's i like things big brass and kind of not not necessarily pretty and not necessarily ugly either i kind of like fun ugly i like bright colors i like pretty colors i like overdoing things over exaggeration and like you can kind of tell by the way i talk i guess too but that's kind of what i'm going for so this thing was kind of like a weird blue wood with like a red windows and stuff and i thought this is not for me so of course i changed it to pink windows so that's a good example of kind of like the style that i go for i think if you're gonna kind of like go with a concept like you may as well really go for it and i think for a lot of these houses like they do have an idea and they do have a concept like they're not lazy they're just ugly so i think i'm gonna try and like focus on the things that like the house was trying to do and just make like a better version of it so for this i kept exactly the same floor plan i just immediately started changing like little things like where's the stove where's the sink i want the counters to not be ugly and even like with like the divider thing like i wanted like you know like a little bit of a glass divider like why not right because like they have this like ugly wooden railing thing see the thing is that sunset valley is very 70s like it's based off of like 70s ugliness and that's probably my least favorite decade in terms of like art music and fashion like it's just it's a bleh, it's just not for me i was born in the 80s the very late 80s but i'm still kind of old right so like i can appreciate different kind of retro styles like i love the 50s and 60s i love the 20s and 30s and 40s right i love the victorian era that's like my favorite like decades of the 1800s are amazing but this 1970s blew it so i decided to remove all elements of ugly green which is a really good way to start doing something like that i kind of like to stick to a limited number of colors since i go so bright with color i just want like a couple so i'm thinking okay pink then what goes with pink kind of like an orange color and then i wanted like a shade of blue so i thought those are gonna be like the three that i go for and since we have the color wheel and stuff like you can always play around with it and change things later sometimes you pick like a really good color it just doesn't go with the other ones that you picked so you just have to play around with it i still have this ugly big window i'm gonna get rid i think i get rid of this i hope so i don't want to see the car okay good i do i put a little small window there but yeah i just kept like the same basic floor plan as you can see i kind of made like the walls orange i think i changed them to gray because i don't like too much color either especially when i use like a bright color like the pink windows and stuff i want to do lots of neutrals so like maybe some beiges maybe some grays even some whites actually white i shouldn't say that because i've, I've mentioned this before but white is not really a neutral color my goodness look at that bedroom i love it but it's too pink i can see why people like like me to dial it back a little bit but i'm kind of doing the save it's kind of like a caricature of itself right i guess i might as well say my plan so my plan is to like renovate each and every house in sunset valley so everything's going to be redone i'm going to keep it to a lot of like base game or like maybe just like a couple store items because it's kind of hard to categorize things in the sims 3's build catalog you can't tell if it's from like the sims 3 store or if it's base game i know what most of the base game items are and with creative style you don't really need to use expansion pack items but i might use like one or two little things kind of sprinkled around so i might use like a washer and dryer from one of the dlc by the way you can get washers and dryers in several different packs and on the sims 3 store separately itself so it's like a lot of these things i know a lot of people have anyway but this will be kind of base game friendly so if you don't have a bunch of packs or dlc like it's still gonna work fine the colors are still gonna be pretty it's definitely gonna be better than what you get in sunset valley but yeah then like when it comes to landscape 
landscaping and stuff like I don't like I don't want to go too too crazy I want to keep like Sunset Valley still looking like Sunset Valley just like a better version of itself so I might just like change some flowers to more like you know better colors that I like maybe th there's a few ugly trees in the Sims 3 let's be real so maybe I'll replace a couple of those but in terms of just like the general look of Sunset Valley like it's still gonna give that feel so if you are a big Sunset Valley fan I still plan to have the same Sims inside oh and by the way this is an empty like unoccupied house so I figured like it really doesn't matter what the style is I just kind of made it single basic female sim because that's what most people play but I thought like for the actual towny houses I'm gonna make sure like everyone has like the right like the right number of bedrooms the right styles if they have any interests or careers that'll be factored into the build as well so I'm gonna make sure like the houses still like make sense for the sims so and actually in some cases EA doesn't do that like with the crumple bottom house it's perfect for Agnes right we definitely have to fix that roof but you know for the most part like the concept is pretty good but for some of the houses it's just so not like I don't know why like Morgana Wolf lives in that hideous modern thing I don't know I usually get I, I usually have her divorce him and move out anyway but yeah I can see myself like doing some terrain paint and doing like the porch light and whatever I'm doing like a few final tweaks and I know I changed a few things like, even after I finished filming the speed build portion of the video so why don't we jump in and do like a little house tour and we'll, we'll kind of see what the finished product is see you there so welcome to my version of Pre-Fabulous. In fact, I may just rename it to Fabulous because I think it turned out pretty good. And in case you haven't met her before, this is Dethany. So Dethany is my favorite sim and she'll be moving into each and every house and helping us be like our tour guide. In fact, this house really matches Dethany. She probably would have changed the white to black, but she really likes the shade of pink. And so do I. And there was actually like a bush like with the flowers that matched it perfectly. So I went with that. But yeah, going around the house, I kept the same rectangle shape, just added a bump out, fixed the roof color and just kind of like, you know, relined everything everything up to the way that I like. Everything's pretty symmetrical. In fact, a little bit too symmetrical, but with a house this small, you either have to do it completely symmetrical or like not at all, or it's not gonna look good. And for the roof, I just used like two little gabled roofs here and just did like one like a little bit bigger. So it just bumps out a little bit. It's just like a little extra touch. Even just something like that can really fix up your rectangly houses, right? Okay, let's just jump inside. So as we can see, I kind of did like the gray and the pink for the most part. Like I said, I like to do like dial it back to a little bit of neutral if I'm going a little bit too color heavy. Let's just start in the bedroom because it is the brightest room. I chose Houndstooth for the blanket. I think it's pretty ritzy. Just two simple nightstands, a dresser. Again, this is like a starter home. And the concept of a starter home is that like you kind of want to add into it and expand it on your own. So I just went with a simple style that might be easy to kind of go with. And then if you don't like the pink, you can just turn it into white. And then it's just like one of those like modern -y houses. The bathroom is like a hint of blue and stuff. I want to put the walls up because I want to see where I put the wall lights and stuff. Because like a lot of people just use like ceiling lights, big, bright, straight down, especially like those like debug ones. But I don't really like to do that. I like to do like little wall lights and little table lights to kind of like you know just make the eye dance a little bit it just adds a few more shadows the kitchen is pretty much the same I just kind of like modern it up a little bit it used to have a really ugly green tile but I took care of that I added a little bit of like pots and pans over the stove just for some decoration changed the dining table to something that wasn't ugly and I ended up going with these like base gamey orangey couches this is one of the default swatches and this is like one of my favorite default swatches in the whole game they're pretty cheap but they're not too bad or anything and then for like the carpet I just did this like little bit of like an isometric pattern in teal but if you notice I copied it like down here on like the little mat in the kitchen also on the bath mat so it just keeps it like really cohesive for me but like all sims houses I kind of like when you zoom out and it still looks good so I like how all the colors kind of work together I like how each room is easy to distinguish maybe the kitchen and bathroom it's a little bit harder and yeah there was no backyard and I did not add a backyard I think if it was like a different house I might have but this is a starter house and if we look Dethany has 728 simoleons remaining and I always like to have like a sim when they move into a starter they should have between 500 and a thousand simoleons enough simoleons to survive but not so many that the game is too easy but yeah that about does it for this video thank you so much for watching and let me know like do you ever renovate houses in the sims 3 and how does it go for you for me the color wheel was really overwhelming at first but now that i've gotten used to it and i can pick each and everything like i cannot go back i still build in the sims 2 sometimes because i play a lot of that game but i just kind of get the house done and move on this is where i like to do it but yeah thanks again if you like the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of the Sunset Valley renovations and subscribe in general if you like the Sims but not EA I'm not their biggest fan and I do like to kind of get angry at them sometimes so that's fun but yeah that's pretty much it I guess Dethany and I will see you soon moi see ya boom